Now one thing we noticed with the Can-Am while we were taking it for a spin on the weekend is with the factory flares the way they are, we cop a lot of mud, water and uh, unfortunately cow shit in some occasions up into the cab and sometimes also on you. So we've gone and ordered a set of flares from Can-Am, the ones that go on the XMR and they're just going to widen it up. I think it's 1.5 inches it'll add overall, which is going to be great. It's just going to stop all that stuff sort of spraying up in the cab. And the other thing that we're going to add is a set of mirrors. Not being able to see behind you is the biggest pain in the ass, and you wouldn't realise it until you're missing those. Just had these arrive so these are a side mirror I've got a rear vision mirror to go on as well pick these ones up off of Amazon so very similar to the genuine can air mirror however these ones are considerably cheaper so we're gonna get these chucked on Now it's taken a little while, but I finally have a set of rock sliders uh, in my hands for the Can Am Commander build here. Uh, so you will notice that all through here is sort of plastic. Um, there's a pretty thick plastic skid plate underneath this from factory, uh, and there is metal framework that sort of runs within this as well. However, it's still pretty vulnerable, so the rock slider is just going to give us that little bit of extra protection through here, uh, and not to mention it's going to look really good at the same time. So. We'll get stuck into that, we'll smash that out, and it's just going to add a whole other element, another dimension to the commander. So, sorry Can Am, I'm, uh, I'm cutting a bit of a corner here. The instructions say that you basically have to remove all this sort of side plastic to fit these rock sliders. However, a little bit of research online, uh, guys in the States are saying you don't have to do that. The good thing with a lot of this sort of stuff is you'll see that you've got these little dimples throughout the side of the commander and they are like a pre-dimpled uh, drill spot so you basically drill the hole through there uh, and then we'll be able to fit the rock slider basically straight through it. Yeah. 